That's the Pin Dennis Club, and this is where the old fashioned was invented. Yes. Legend has it that this is where the old fashioned and the old fashioned that we know today, or the old fashioned old fashioned, yet to be determined. That's what Tony Abigannon <laughs> is here trying to figure out. He's actually here as a part of the Academy of Spirits and Service. Correct, yeah. Uh, Tony's one of our featured partners. Uh, we have the Academy of Spirits and Fun Service. Uh, it's a 12 week program that we uh, teach everything all spirits, mixology, beer, wine. And Tony is one of our featured speakers. It's great, it's great having him uh, a part of the, of the program. And, um, we're so happy to have you. Well, thank you. And Gary's being very humble. It is an amazing program. It's an opportunity for young bartenders to really familiarize themselves and educate themselves on all the fine products behind the bar. And it's kudos to you. It's fabulous. Thank you. So we started at Sullivan University with the Academy. Yep. And then we came here to the Pendennis Club. The Pendennis Club. Where the old fashioned was invented. And you're doing an article investigating a few things on the old fashioned, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm writing an article for In The Mix magazine. It's a magazine I write for quarterly. And it started kind of really the muddled or unmuddled old fashioned version. And I started bartending in 1980. The way I learned to make the old fashioned is pretty much the way they make them here at the Penn Dennis Club. With the exception, uh, they're using a simple syrup, which is sugar and water. I learned to use a sugar cube, doused with Angostura bitters, and then the addition of water. So I'm basically making a simple syrup and muddling the cherry and the orange, adding ice, adding bourbon whiskey. And one of the interesting debates was, was it first made with bourbon or was it first made with rye whiskey? Right, yeah. Again, a very interesting question to pose yeah. to the group. Um, <coughs> but recently, historians have discovered that the old-fashioned cocktail predates the opening of the Pendennis Club. So my goal with this journey is to kind of come to the conclusion on was the old-fashioned that we know today, and anyone who's been making old-fashions since really the repeal of prohibition was probably muddling fruit. Right. I started bartending in 1980. I learned to drink with muddled fruit, topped with soda water, which I think has no place in an old fashioned, regardless if we muddle fruit or not, but it makes for a larger drink. Correct. At the end of the day, I think it comes down to the guest preference. It does. Do you, the person who's buying the drink and drinking the drink, prefer it with the muddled fruit or without the muddled fruit. Right. Uh, and, you know, it's just, it's fun that we have one drink, which is probably one of the, if not the original cocktail. It fits that description of the 1806 definition of a cocktail, sugar, water, bitters, and strong spirit. Strong spirit being American whiskey. Uh, with the addition of the fruit, and where did the fruit start showing up? I think it's the evolution of the cocktail. I think it's the evolution of the cocktail. Yeah. And really, who are we to judge how our guests like to drink their drinks? Or not. We educate ourselves. They're interesting uh, stories. We can debate it. We can have fun with it. But at the end of the day, <coughs> as long as we make a great cocktail. Cheers. Cheers, my friend. <laughs>